just wanted to uh, do a little bit of uh, feedback from my recent trip up with the Quanah Trail from uh, Parker's Dam State Park to the White Cough Run uh, Trailhead with uh, Ryan Fitzpadock. Had a great trip as you can see in the video. Uh, right now I'm just uh, going through all my gear, finding what I used, what I didn't take out, <clears throat> what I wish I would have had. and uh, Really, I only took out maybe two or three things so far. I uh, still feel the need that I may have the need for some of the stuff, it's just I didn't have the opportunity to use it. Uh, some of it was the first aid, which I'm glad I didn't need to use it, but in face I did, I want it. Uh, I found out whenever I got nailed by that tick, uh, I had taken my Neosporin out of the first aid kit for uh, preventing infection. Fortunately enough, uh, Doc had some in his uh, first aid kit uh, and spared some. So thank you, Doc, for that. So, but uh, we are going to go over our gear today, inspect it. Now I'm going to take a stiff brush to my uh, pack, clean off any loose debris, duck dirt. Uh, I got some bark on it. I'm setting it down on that, and from my. Uh, I had him place some uh, white birch and some true fungus in the back. I uh, in the back until I got into my pack later and got a bag and put it in. It trashed my pack. So uh, I bought an extra, another pair of uh, hiking pants and the ones I have been wearing. I want to go ahead and uh, retreat with some. Uh, let's zoom this. This. Uh, permarone, uh, anything to help prevent those ticks from the future. I just don't want nailed again. So, Stu, I had the Enzo with me the whole time. Plus, I had my uh, Gerber flick on my belt. And my little uh, Swiss Army, it's clipped on my carabiner on the uh, pack. So, but, uh, but uh, the trip. Well, let's see, we did 12 miles a day. Started off a little after 9 o'clock on uh, Friday morning. Uh, as you can see from a lot of the videos, it was quite a wet weekend. Uh, some people won't hike in the rain. I'm sorry. Uh, when opportunities arrive for me to get out and hike, I take advantage of them. Uh, everyone, uh, there's a lot of you out there have to go by vacation days, and once you take them, if you don't use them, you lose them. So uh, I don't want to lose my vacation days that I set aside for certain trips. So I went ahead and sucked it up, and we hiked it. Uh, back to sucking up. Tell you what, Ryan did an excellent job of. Uh, Forget the pain he was in and just kept on the trail. It was not an easy trail by any means. It, it is one of the most strenuous trails in Pennsylvania. It's not the top, but it's it's there. It's one of the, there's a lot of tough trails in Pennsylvania. We have a lot of uh, hilly, mountainous terrain. You know, it ain't like the mountains you're going to see out in Utah and Arizona and Colorado and cetera. But in, in not in that comparison, but they have their challenges as it is. So, but uh, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and go over our gear. Just went ahead and had my pack handed downstairs like I showed you before. Uh, I just got put up all I gotta do. Uh, my tent, excuse me, is put my uh, rain fly back in. Uh, that one video that you saw. I did get some moisture inside of the tent, but that was my own fault. I did not die out the sides. I've never died in that tent, to be honest, since I've owned it. But uh, whenever I'm expecting the weather, we're going to go ahead and die it out. Uh, see if I can get some more of that uh, waterproof uh, spray that the tents are normally treated with. I'll order some from REI here in the next coming weeks. Go ahead and pop the thing out in the yard, treat, treat it just to make sure it's good and waterproof. But a lot of it was because, one, I didn't die it out, and two, I had my air mattress up against one side of the wall. And it, that side, I had it pressed up, I drew in the condensation. So it was my my bag. So uh, sleeping bag's hanging. I'm just going to leave it hanging. It's not hurting anything downstairs where it is. I like to keep the loft safe as well as my uh, down jacket. 
Uh, uh, like I said, I'm trying to go through stuff and adjust weights. I had my packed up to 40 pounds when we left. Uh, a lot of that was water and food added on, but still I packed some things that I didn't use. I didn't need my uh, silk uh, long johns. It didn't get that cold, but you, we didn't know. So they weighed uh, half a pound, but still that can come out when I know it's going to be 60s and 70s, even overnight. So uh, now it's getting warmer. I can go to my fleece, my cheap fleece, uh, Texas something back uh sleeping bag for the summer months i don't need that down one uh they really didn't get one night the last night it got down into the 40s so that 20 degree down was handy uh the gloves i have are just too thick i'm gonna uh get a pair of thinner gloves uh, i didn't use my knee brace but that one time i screwed up my knee it would have been nice to have something like that i could probably tape it but for the convenience and the extra weight, I'm going to throw it in there. So, uh, food, I did come home with some extra food. Uh, for me, I don't eat a whole lot for some odd reason when I'm putting out all that energy in the field. So, but, uh. Oh. But. Well, guys, I can't think of really much more to say other than, hey, thanks a lot for watching, as always. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, take the time to get over and check out Ryan's uh, channel, Fixed by Doc. Uh, very intelligent individual. Uh, just because he's got goofy hair doesn't mean he's, well, he is goofy. But it doesn't mean he's not intelligent. <laughs> hey, well, we got Ryan. Well, I'm thinking of Ryan. See if I can find these deleted the email he just sent me he took the time and made me some charms I believe this is if I remember it's something the gothic uh, alphabet it's kind of neat uh, he made him out of his you know took the time made him made him himself uh, it's to protect you during your journey it's something but pre Oh, Dark Ages, I believe. So, I'm not sure. And this is another one supposed to protect you on your journey. So, these are something that he took the time to make and gave me. And uh, I just wanted to take the time and show you these as well. Uh, that's like, where did I put it? Something I didn't get to use, unfortunately. But he sent me in the past, too, was... Uh, map information cards so but, uh, thanks Ryan for these I'm gonna put these over here so I don't lose them because that's something I'm gonna add on to my pack every time I do I'll just protect my journey like you specified they were for I think there's a little bit of gothic stuff but I don't believe in that stuff but it was a gift and uh, what he described it we're just gonna leave it it goes as a protection of your journey so but uh all right guys hey thanks again for watching thanks for subscribing take the time check out ryan fits by doc the rest of you out there let's get a trip together let's do some planning uh let's get out there and hike okay guys